Hello guys, welcome back to my channel, Real McCoy 411. I'm going to go ahead and get started by showing you the products I'm going to be using. And I'm also showing you the results that I got. I decided to do a flat twist and a couple of just regular twists with the Jane Carter Solutions and the Extreme Wetline Gel. And on this part right here, I'm just practicing. You know I told you practice, practice, practice. So I had practiced putting a couple of flat twists in at the top of my head just to see if I could do it. And flat twisting is something that I'm really trying to get down because it's a very good protective style. And you can actually leave the twist flat or you can, you know, take them down and add some volume to it. And those are the type of styles that I'm really interested in right now. So I'm just taking down my flat twist. I'm going to be using some extreme wet line gel. Now the Jane Carter Solutions that is still in my hair. Okay, the Jane Carter Solutions is still in my hair. So the only thing I'm going to be doing is adding some extreme wet line gel to try to practice more on my flat twists. And that's just me deciding, trying to decide what can I do on camera <laughs> so I decided I'm gonna send some of them I'm gonna send a couple of flat twists this way and then I'm gonna try the flat twist going another way with another one so they say it's very important that you get your parts straight so I really was trying to get my parts straight and guys, if you can look at my hair, it is so soft, okay? It is so soft. The Jane Carter Curls to Go, OMG, is such a good moisturizer. It's good for, they say, wash and goes and dry hair. Well, I used it as a moisturizer. And I also use it to put in the twists. Because, you know, it's for curls and kinks and everything. So I used it for that. And as you can see, I was able to just comb right through my hair like I never even had the twist up. So on this part there, I'm going to, let's see, I think I'm going to start on that front part. So I'm just separating those two parts just to get them out of the way. So I'm just going to place a couple of clamps in my head and that is just to get them out of the way and I also want to give y'all a disclaimer if y'all hear a washing machine and dryer in the back that's because it's laundry day while I'm doing this voiceover it is not completely quiet but hey I am doing this for me and for you so let's get started I'm gonna apply some gel to my edges around my edges and it also, it, it helps with the look, but it also helps you kind of be able to grip the hair a little bit easier. So I applied some right there where I, where I was going to be starting it. Now this is not a tutorial on how to do flat twists. This is showing you that I too am still practicing on how to do the flat twists. I cannot describe to you exactly how to do it because I'm not a professional at it yet, yet, hence the word yet, but I will be. But I know it's a matter of taking two pieces of hair, starting at the top, using your index finger to pull another piece of hair back, then grabbing that and pushing that over. But hey, like I said, this is not a tutorial. This video is basically just showing you that I am practicing on my natural hair to get the styles that I want to use. And also, protective styles. These are protective styles. So, I'm trying because the weather in Texas right now is off the charts. It can be warm and it can be freezing. So I'm trying to do as much as I can not to 
have to actually wet my hair. So that's the first twist. I got that one down. And I'm putting rubber bands at the end just to secure it. Now, it still gets a little loose for me. I think it should be tighter. But as time goes on, we'll get there. This is a journey, remember? A journey. So here I'm just going to separate that top part. And I'm going to go ahead and start flat twisting down on this one. And I am using a mirror to look in to at least see if somewhat am I, what I'm doing is right. So I'm using a mirror to look in. And I decided to bring that that flat twist down the same direction I did the front one. And go ahead and start on the other side. And I wish, I really wish I could explain it to you guys. I'm trying to show you. My hands are all in the way, so I really can't show you and I can't explain it. But there are so many tutorials on YouTube on flat twists, how to start a flat twist, how to complete a flat twist. Those are, those are the things that I've been watching, just trying to learn how to get it down. And so far, I think I'm doing a pretty good job. That twist actually looks really good. And that Jane Carter Solutions is what has my hair looking so moisturized. Remember, I only use gel like at the edges, but the shine and everything that you're seeing, that is from the Jane Carter Solutions. Hats off, the Curl Cocktail. It is awesome. So once again, using another rubber band to secure that, I just put that behind my ear. So I did three. Now you see the back is still from my two strand twist. So at this point I have to figure out what I'm gonna do. And I'm thinking, <laughs> I don't know. The curls will steer back there, but the top part didn't look right to me with the flat twist in the front. So since this is a journey, let's see what I came up with. Good job, Charlotte. I see those gray hairs coming back in, girl. Mm. Yeah. Okay. This is what I decided to do, guys. I decided to flat twist my hair going down in the back. Now, flat twisting your hair going, a side, going to the side is one thing. Flat twisting your hair going to the front, okay, you can do that. But flat twisting to the back, I didn't even record that <laughs> because I know it wasn't right. I know I did the best I could. I did the best I could. I went on it. I put on my nightcap because when I tell you, I edited that part out. I just cut it out. I said, I don't even want to do that to nobody. <laughs> This is a journey. This is a journey. So I'm telling y'all the truth. I'm not finna sit here and lie to you. Them back twists, baby. <laughs> they just there. They are just there. So I'm putting on my nighttime bonnet with my little scarf. And I'm going to go to bed. And I'll uh, wake up in the morning and see what we can do. <laughs> yeah. And I was so sorry, guys, about my hand being all in the camera. Yeah, got to get my little dance out. It's the morning time. Oh, Lord. <laughs> she Look, in reality, I was so scared about what I was about to unveil, y'all. I really was. The front, I wasn't worried about. But the back? Oh, the back. Let me zoom in. See the flat, the front, it laid down flat, nice, still juicy. The back, uh, you kind of see what had happened was 
Um, uh, yeah. That side went pretty good. That other side went pretty good. Uh, this is the creativity. Creativity. We're going to use our minds here. Use our minds. So, I'm going to go ahead and apply some of my main choice oil. It's growth oil. It's not clear. I apologize about that. I just put some on my hand and just rubbed it down on the twist. Now I can tell you right now, the front two, the front three twists, I'm actually going to leave up. I did not take them down. They were my protective style for that day. But I already knew, baby, coming on out. <laughs> And because of that moisture, you guys, from the Jane Carter, my hair was still soft. I mean, it was still soft. I didn't add any gel and stuff in the back because I kind of, kind of, sort of really already knew what was going to happen. So I just did the little Jane Carter thing and I left it. You know, I still had the product in my hair and it was good. So my hair was very manageable. It was not hard. There was no no cast over it. It was just just right. So I know it's a curl cocktail, but it works as a moisturizer for me too. So that's a little more of the Jane Carter solution. And I'm just adding a little on the back just to moisturize. And it's so soft. It has your hair so soft. So soft. It makes your hair feel very healthy. And like I said, it lasts. So we know for sure that we're definitely keeping the three in the front. We're going to go ahead and start picking out our hair. Because I did not want to show y'all those twists that were in the back. Not yet. Not going to do it. Not going to do it. It was not ready. It was not right. But picking out my, my hair felt really good, guys. It was like I had just washed it or something. So I just created a protective style using no heat, using a little bit of gel for my edges, and using that Jane Carter Solutions with a little bit just added on for the next day, and bam. That's my protective hairstyle for today. And it, it, this, this is such a wonderful journey, you guys. This is such a wonderful journey. I'm telling you, there is nothing like falling in love with your hair. Yeah, I was feeling really good because I thought this video was not going to make it. The video made it. Put on my earrings and all right. Yeah. Yeah, look at them gray hairs. It's all good, though. It's all good. That means wisdom, knowledge. <laughs> yes. Y'all know, uh, go ahead and tell y'all know. Y'all know I don't know nothing about edges and all that stuff, so y'all know that. So, only thing I'm probably going to do is, I, if I can remember right, so put a little gel on there, just try to lay it down or something. That's all I know when it comes to edges. Oh, I'm working on my little lip gloss. Boop. Boop. She ready. Boop. She ready. Boop, boop. She ready. Boop. <laughs> I love this journey. I wouldn't trade it for nothing in the world. See? You see what can happen when you practice and you go mess up. And when you do mess up, keep going. There's bound to be something you can create with your hairstyle. 
see I try to put a little a little, little gel on there just uh you know that's just not my thing. That's not my thing. As I get into other styles and stuff that may become my thing, but that's just not my thing right now. Real McCoy 411. Make sure you guys subscribe. Okay? I am taking my natural hair journey. And I want to take everybody with me so that you can see and learn as I grow and learn. And my goal is healthy hair and longer hair. And so far, I am achieving both. And I've really just been in this process for about a month, really. Just taking care of my hair for a month. I usually be didn't cut it by now. So, I'm just telling you, go ahead and subscribe. That's all I'm saying. Go ahead and subscribe, baby. And remember, keep God first in everything you do. Everything. I mean that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Keep God first. You think I did this hairstyle? Nope. God blessed me with that hair so that I can come up with that hairstyle. And look at them inches. Look at them inches from the nape area. Yes, darling, from the nape area. So, like I said, go ahead and subscribe. Click that notification bell. Follow me on my journey, guys. It's going to be a great journey, and I want you there, too.